Welcome to A Little Extra Practice. I'm Dr. Thomas Little. Today we're going to work on simplifying fractions. First off, why do we simplify fractions? We simplify them because it is easier for people to understand the numbers six eighths in simplest form. We like small numbers, and if I were to say 50 hundredths, people would have to think a little bit. If I say one half, we're more familiar with that fraction. So we always put fractions in simplest form. Six out of eight. Go ahead and simplify this. They're both even, so they're both going to have two as a factor. Just looking at these numbers right now. First step, find all the factors for the numerator and denominator. Reminder, factors are the numbers that you multiply to get to six or the numbers you multiply to get to eight. So how can I get to six? One times six, two times three. And notice how the numbers get smaller on one side and larger on the other side. And in this case, they met. Okay, so I didn't have to ask anymore. One times six, two times three, that's it. Next one, one times eight, two times four, and there's one remaining number, three. Three times, well, three is not a factor of eight. Nothing times three equals eight. Go ahead and delete that. Step number two. Circle the largest factor that is in the numerator and denominator list. This is called the greatest common factor. Well, they share a one, they share a two. Two is the largest number that is in both lists. That is called the greatest common factor. Step number three, divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF. Okay, so we have six out of eight. Divide the numerator, that's six. Divide the denominator, that is eight. Six divided by two is three. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 6 out of 8, 6 8 simplifies to 3 fourths. Let's try a couple more. Next problem, 10 out of 22. Step number 1, find all the factors for the numerator and denominator. 1 times 10, 2 times 5, 3 times, nope, 4 times anything equals 10, no, and I'm at the 5. Factors for 21. 1 times 21, 2, no, 3, yes, 3 times 7, step number 2. Circle the largest factor that is in the numerator and denominator list. This is called the greatest common factor. They share 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. So in this case, the greatest common factor is 1. So if I take 10 divided by 1, 21 divided by 1, I get the same answer. So in this case, 10 out of 21 is already in simplest form. Doesn't look like it, but it is. 25 out of 35. Step one, list all the factors. One times 25, five times five. Factors of 35. One times 35, five times seven. Common factors. They share one, they share a five. So the GCF is five. So I'll rewrite this, 25 out of 35. Step number three is divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF. 25 divided by five is five. 35 divided by five is seven. Five sevenths, 25 out of 35 simplifies to five sevenths. Okay, we went over a couple examples. Let's see how you do on these four problems. Can you simplify them? Pause the video, solve the problem, and then we'll check our answers. All right, how'd you do? Let's start with factors for 36. 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6. Factors for 40. 1 times 40, 2 times 20. Three times, no, four, four times 10, five times eight, and six and seven, no, so we're done. What do they share? Common factors. They share a one, a two, a four, doesn't look like they share anything else, so the GCF is four. 36 divided by four is nine. 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 36 fortieths simplifies to 9 tenths. 1 times 14, 2 times 7, factors of 18. 1 times 18, 
2 and 9, 3 times 6, and I believe that's it. Okay. So what do they share? Common factors. A 1, obviously a 2. All even numbers are going to share a 2. So the GCF is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 18 divided by 2 is 9. This is what I'm doing mentally right now. 14 divided by 2, that's where I got the 7. 18 divided by 2, that's where I got the 9. Moving on. 20 out of 44. Factors of 20. 1 times 20. 2 times 10. 4 times 5. And again, I, I love how this works. The numbers come together. When I do it in order this way, I don't have to randomly think of the numbers. There's a process, and it makes it much easier. 1 times 44, 2 times 22, 3, no, 4 times 11, 5, no, 6, nope, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's it. Sometimes the bigger numbers don't have as many factors as you think they might. 1, 2, 4, okay, so 4 is a GCF. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 44 divided by 4 is 11. So 20 out of 44, 20 44 simplifies to 5 11 Last one, 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 times 8, get my commas in here, 4 times 6, 27. 1 times 27, 3 times 9, and that's it for 27. You share a 1 and a 3, so the GCF is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 24 27 simplifies to 8 ninths. Okay, so you're already proven you're good at simplifying fractions. Let's solve these two word problems. Hit pause, solve the problem, hit play when you're ready to check your answers. The hungry fourth grader tore open her package of jelly beans to eat the green ones. Sadly, only six of the 32 jelly beans were green. In simplest form, what fraction of the jelly beans were green? Six of the 32 were green jelly beans. Okay, factors of six, one times six, two times three. Factors of 32, one times 32. 2 times 16, 4 times 8, 5, no, 6, no, 7, no, and then we're to 8. So what do they share? Common factors include a 1, a 2, looks like 2 is a GCF, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we have 3 out of 16, so 3 out of every 16 jelly beans were green. The next problem. This one's a little bit more challenging. The teacher gave a science test over ecosystems. The test included 12 true or false, 14 matching, 7 multiple choice, and 3 essay questions. In simplest form, what fraction of the test was matching? Well, first we have to figure out how many total questions there were on the test. So we have 12 true or false, 14 matching, 7 multiple choice, and 3 essay questions. I'm going to combine those two. So our total number of questions is 36. That will be our denominator. The question asks, what fraction of the test was matching? So of the 36 problems, 14 were matching. So let's simplify. Factors of 14, 1 times 14, 2 times 7, and that's it. Factors of 36, there's going to be a lot of them because it's a multiple of 12. 2 times 18, 3 times 12. 4 times 9, and then 6 times 6. They share a 1. Common factors, they share a 2. And of the common factors, 2 is the biggest, so we call that the GCF, or greatest common factor. I simply divide 14 divided by 2, 36 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 7 eighteenths of the test is matching. Well, I hope you learned a little something about simplifying fractions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on A Little Extra Practice.